Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel, where last episode after defeating the Archaism on the Ebel Highway, we returned to Legram to find troops from another region within, as Duke Cayenne paid a visit to Viscount Arsaid's home in a bid to get him to declare for the noble faction as political tensions ramp up. With Tovel then leaving with the Viscount on business, he gave us one more job to complete as we set out to fish up a golden salmon while looking for a luminous grass for Cindy. And with that done, all that's left is to write up our report. Hello there. Good dog, always waiting by owner's house. Uh, we're done, aren't we? We're giving in that one. We're giving in that one. That's all we have to do. So, we've talked to everyone too. That is our day. Unless something else happens, considering that castle on the sea is so important, after all. Job done, no problem. I want to sell the gold salmon. Let me sell it. it. Sounds like I'd be able to sell it for a fortune to like. See, it's a lake. Oh, whatever. It's war. That's all I need to know. Could be a river for all I care. It's still a sea to me. It's all about my boundaries of my imagination. Should we head back to the guild and start filing everything away? I think we're done. After returning the guild to file your reports, the time of day will advance to evening, and the main story will proceed. Let's go. Thus, the members of Group A brought their fruitful day of work to an end. And following the instructions Doval left for them, they began the not quite as exciting process of finding the paperwork. Oh, are you finished? Oh, Millium, good help. Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. A little brat, she could at least try and help instead of lying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I doubt she's used to spending this long on such exciting tasks. Oh well, we're almost finished. <laughs> Alright then. Still, it really goes to show how top rate Toa is. He fulfills a lot of requests on his own. So it's time to handle all the day to day realities of running a guild branch. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a bracer. The guild may have been forced out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even when we were in Bereahard, he came to our aid. And if you look at all these records, it's clear that the people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's very true, but... Something the matter? Now I was just thinking. If Bracers play an essential role to the people of other countries, are they not just as essential to Erebonians? Well... You may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. That ideal, prioritising the protection of civilians above all else, is pretty noble. It's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's that form of nobility that's beginning to fall by the wayside within Erebonia's aristocracy. I'm not sure the issue is as black and white as you'd have it. The Guild is an organisation first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism, and far too little on practicality. Donations and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's no stretch at all to say that with the Empire as it is now, the Guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once when we discussed this. You sis. Looks like his brother is weighing on his mind. I suppose that's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold and dismissive. But it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Alberea. Hmm. Emma. They're so big. <laughs> And soft. But Milliam! Look at that. She doesn't even have to be awake to be an irritant. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> it shouldn't take too much longer to finish filing the rest of the reports. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Sounds good to me. Uh, excuse me, is anyone here? Oh, you're the girl who works at Watto's store, aren't you? Oh, Lady Laura! Is Toval here by any chance? I'm afraid Toval is out of town on business at the moment. Is something the matter? That they haven't come home. Julian and Kano still haven't come back home from the castle. Wait, you don't mean... Did those two go to Lohengrin Castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without any supervision? Uh, I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure, then they took one of the boats without even asking. <laughs> it's evening now and they still haven't come back! This sounds like a serious problem. 
Yeah, and right when Tobal is away from the guild too. We'll just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree. We can't just stand around and hope they'll come back. If we're to search the lake, we'll need to a boat ourselves. I'll have Klaus prepare one for us at once. While you do that, I'll wake up Milliam and we'll have another look around the town to see if we can find them. Splitting up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. F thank you! Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. And by the time the other residents became aware of what was happening, evening had given way to night. Well, I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. Looks like they really did head out toward the castle in a boat. The lake's been calm and there's no sign of a boat on the water, so at least it's unlikely they capsized. Uh, I guess that leaves the castle then, right? Lohengrin Castle was once the stronghold of the Eisenritter. And while the Arsene family is still its steward, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. I hope nothing terrible has happened to them. Their parents are really worried too. I've asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we find. We have use of a boat now, do we not? We do. A couple students from the Arsade school are preparing an old boat for us as we speak. It does worry me that it has started to grow misty again, though. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted out and we have everything we need just in case. Right, let's hurry. <laughs> I nearly started laughing then. I know why I call this area a sea. I'm sure I've shared the story before. And Becca shares enough embarrassing stories about me, so this would be a good revenge too. <laughs> What's going on in town? Calm down, Sven. Lady Laura and her friends are making their way there, so let's just wait for them to return. I can't believe this. Where's that stupid son of mine? The sun's already set. Hurry up and get back here. Alright, again, there's a new set of conversations. Praying, are you? Please be safe, Julian. He may be clumsy and silly and utterly hopeless, but even then, he's still my brother and I love him. Please find him and bring him back, everyone. We will do. Oh, Edios, oh, spirits of Legram, please ensure that those children return home safe and sound. These people are asking high school students to go to a dangerous abandoned castle? Ah, why not? After all, they've been doing all the other monster quests. I guess at this point. We are the strongest apart from clouds in the region. We've proven that. Ah, don't know that they're here either. The boat's still gone too, so they really might be at the castle. I don't understand why they haven't come back though. And supposedly we beat him, so we should be stronger, right? It doesn't look like they've returned from the castle yet. This is all my fault. <laughs> I never should have said I hope they get snatched away by evil spirits. I didn't think it would actually happen though. Don't worry, Chloe. We'll bring them back safe and sound. There's no need for you to blame yourself, okay? Uh, okay. It's not your fault, Chloe. Besides, I'm confident Lady Laura will bring them back soon enough. Come now. Let's believe in your nobility and grace, okay? Mm, okay. I mean, it's not my nobility and grace that I'll be using, but still. The atmosphere surrounding Lohenglin Castle is rather strange tonight. Do take care out there. We shall all be awaiting your swift return. I looked myself, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Maybe they really did head all the way out to Lohenglin Castle. I've prepared a boat over the wharf for you, so you can leave whenever you're ready. Good luck out there, you guys. Pretty much everyone is out in town at this point. But please calm down. Um, um, keeping a cool head is important in time like these. I can't believe it. I told him so many times not to go near the castle too. I can still go and equip myself if I need to. Just wondering if any new paper will appear, but it's not that kind of time scale we're always on for that kind of stuff. Should I buy another green pendulum? Hmm. Fairy bridge is a pretty good tool. Oh, I can only sell you material, but I want the U material. <laughs> Give me more U material, guy. I have no slots to improve, nothing like that. I don't have enough U material to customize another weapon. Uh, the only thing I can do is probably buy some tunics again. I mean, I can increase defense by 50, but then again, it does drop that ADF by a ton. But then again, I also have impedes. And I'm pretty good with the impedes.
No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I've got. I believe. Alright, should I go straight out there? Julian Connor seem to have sailed off with my boat. Oh, I don't even care if they lost it at this point, I just want them to come back. I guess you might be blamed for the fact that your boat is easily able to be taken. But then I guess like the kids might go fishing and all that several times, you know. You wouldn't stop them doing that, would you? This fog's got me rather worried, truth be told. Hopefully it doesn't hang around here for too long. I see the old boat has been prepared. My lady. Yes, we just finished getting it ready for your departure. Is this a normal boat, huh? Looks kind of fun. This hardly seems like the time to be getting excited for a boat ride. I've operated orbital boats before, so I'll steer us to our destination. Alright, we'll leave it to you then. My lady, please wait! I, I still feel that we ought to be the ones going out and searching. You shouldn't have to trouble yourself with matters like these. I appreciate your concern, but as the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is part of my duties to the people of the ground. It also happens to fall under the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her. You needn't worry. Very well. I doubt there's anything more I can say that'd get you to change your mind. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual then. It shouldn't be that dangerous. Hmm, really? The wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. It's said that the castle's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections with St. Sandlot and the Eisenriller. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there, so the children are most likely safe. Although it's impossible to rule out that an accident may have befallen them. Either way, we need to get over there and find out as soon as possible. Indeed, we should depart at once. Is everyone ready to depart? After departing for Lion Queen Castle, you'll be able to return to town while your investigation is underway. Do we go or do we talk to more people? We just got a hidden quest. Do you think there's any more secrets lying around? It's a gamble every time when I haven't talked to absolutely everyone. I'd have to talk to most of the town. Yeah, ready when you are. Please take care, my lady. I and the other students will be awaiting your safe return. <laughs> Thank you. I promise that whatever's out there, we'll take care of it. Okay, okay. Let's get the show moving. Technically, there was only like about three or four more people I could have talked to. So I probably should have gone and done it. Oh, well. You like being on a boat, do you? What do you think's waiting for us inside that castle? So, you pass out on the couch the moment we return to the guild, but now you're simply popping with energy. William, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lammy's with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just grab those kids so we can go exploring. Um, Milliam? <sighs> she doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. Did you guys just hear a bell? Yeah, it came from the direction of the castle. Well, Long Green Castle does have a bell tower. But as far as I was aware, access to it had been sealed off. Uh, um, then... Who's ringing it? The bell tolling at night in the old stronghold of the Eisenridder. We'd best be prepared for anything. Almost there. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Well, here we are. Hey, do you think that's the boat the children took? I can't imagine who else it would be. At least they appear to have reached the castle safely. And it's safe to assume they went inside as well. It's well past sundown now. We need to find them as soon as we can. Looks like that path will take us up the cliff. Right, that path will take us to the castle's entrance. Mind your footing though. The night is dark and the trail uneven. The night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> Nothing I can destroy by the look of it. Well, let's head into Lohengrin Castle then. So this is St. Sandlot's old stronghold, Lohengrin Castle. This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. It is a bit steep. That reminds me of everything of it. Why this reminds me of a sea, by the way, is just because I... Uh, when me and Beckham went on our honeymoon, we went to uh, a place called Alunda in Crete. And essentially, in, in the bay, of course, part of the sea, there was a... Uh, basically, there was an island with a leper colony on it. An old abandoned leper colony, which had many books written about it. So it looks kind of like this. So it just reminds me of that to begin with. Whoa, what's that? Something strange about the castle. Is that glow just the moonlight? It's shimmering. So it reminds me of just that area. 
It's a very famous one, if you look up Alunda, Leper Colony and all that. But it was, it's got a lot of stories about it. But on that island itself, you, you basically go for there on a tourist excursion. On that island itself, it has zero facilities. Becker had managed to eat a, uh, a suspicious... I can't remember what this name now. It's like a, a wrap full of chips and mayonnaise and stuff like that. Uh, Peter Gilos, that's the one. Uh, from a restaurant that I think we'd be more slightly about. <laughs> she wanted it really badly though. And it had a crazy effect on her on an island with no toilets. Which was slightly hilarious when she's crouching down in super severe pain. So that really reminds me of this for some reason. <laughs> So we reached Lanyuan Castle. So this is Lohengrin Castle, the ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlot, gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. I can feel it too. Like something is writhing around inside. Wait! What kind of something? I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Emma? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. Take it the advanced envelope envelopes? The advanced elements are gonna be active in here. And to diffuse the tension a little bit more, the ending of the story of the Crete uh Lunda leper colony visit was essentially we had to abandon the tour, make it back to the boat as quickly as possible. Becca which Becca just wanted to leave into the water and just let nature take its course. We managed to get back and she completely destroyed the uh, crew bathroom. Lovely story about your wife. This Honeymoon tales right. we get to tell for 10 million years. As we head back. There's something very strange happening here. Let's make sure we're ready for whatever we may find inside. Should we go in right away? Let's enter. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? You, you stupid door! Lammy! Bust it open! Well, that was unexpected. No! So not even Air Getlam can break us out of here? It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of things. So sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. A uh, sixth sense? Hmm. Fascinating. Come to think of it. This isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? I'm um, kind of the opposite. Oh, uh, you got me! I've always been a big supporter of the church! I'm not sure what you're getting at. Emma, just... who are you? What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier. Something's approaching to the left and the right. Right. 
Ugh, monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. But we're going to have to fight them all the same. We have so nothing finally to the fear. question was asked. My turn. A monster with boss music. The shadow spirits appear. Can they be hit melee wise? They are very resistant to various stats effects. The higher elements are at play. With the higher element that I don't have available going on. But water it does a bit more damage anyway. And we do have a lot of water. Oh, someone's going to vanish. Someone's going to vanish when they get hit. Let's put it that way. Okay, how do we go about doing this then? My turn. Okay, maybe not. Is that the boss music or not? I don't know. Do I even want to vanish this guy? Maybe I'll just avoid taking this turn. My turn. No vanishing. There's a chance. No, it's not a chance. It's my it turn. It's not a chance because I can't detect them Analyzing if I kill him. There's a death blow on the list as well. I've got it. Well, a shadow spirit, an eerie spirit that lacks a solid body, gives those who hear it nightmares, causing them to lose their sanity. Yes, sir. Nightmare effects, are they? Well, that's that. Let's get going. Well, we defeated them pretty easily. As Eustace's Mistral levels up to level four, now begins battle with ATS raised by 25% for four turns, and also gets it when low, but no new spell ability. Bit of a shame that. Also, when you can whack a ghost in the head. It's like we beat them. <laughs> Are you all right, Milliam? Oh, what were those things? Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well. And I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way. Though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> this place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Okay, Emma. It looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Right now, our safety is in your hands. Can we count on you? Yes, of course. All right, then time is of the essence. With fiends like those roaming the castle, I'm even more worried about the children. True, we should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? <laughs> those fiends scare the strength right out of your legs? No, that's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. Oh, waiting by myself would be even worse! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. Right. Emma can now use the S-Craft Lord Alberion. Oh, we got ourselves a spell. And now we have a sword chasing me. I'm very interested in finding out what Lord Alberion is about. Yes, sir. Should we try and find out? Let's just move My turn. and... Oh, wait a second. We just S-break to it, can't we? Oh, you don't have it at your maximum ability at the moment? Oh, whatever. It it affects everything. Rise, great towers. Rest in peace. Oh, Celine's on that as well. Rest in peace, <sighs> ghost. We should be safe now. I love how she just assumes their death. And so we get ourselves a new escort. Our final one, right? It's a nuke. No panic kill or anything like that. Check. We're not taking any of that today. Check. Right, higher elements, higher elements may be in play, but... Uh, Emma gets nuking, no matter what. Ah! Go away, ghosts. It's nice to have a new ability, though. That's for sure. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Yes, sir. Right, wandering sword. We do not have a scan of yet, so we kind of want to keep one of these alive. Well, that'll definitely get a break, won't it? 
Why are you so scared of these monsters then if you can just insta kill them? I'm scared of something you can destroy. Oh, I don't have a detector ready? I guess there'll be more swords in time. That'll get me some CP back. We should keep going. And technically, I should probably motivate to try and feed her a bit more, but Reen is about to level to 48. Alright, straight for Water Sepith. Let's start our way up. So, this is the rest platform, is it? Not something we can do any cool stuff with. No weak to water, so basically, we can just use Hydro Cannon to clear the field. We've got some kind of weird ghost armor too. I guess we'll have to use Detector on you then. We have Analyze too, I could use that. The advantage is ours. My turn. I mean, surely yeah, there's also a point where if you just kill enough of them, they also give you the stuff. Higher element in play. Ooh, time completely destroys them. There. I'm wondering, armors Here are a bit go. stronger than you'd expect though. Well, that one's sealed, no matter what. Hey. We've got a vanish hit coming up. Again, we could just do some kind of nuke like Grand Press. Which would probably kill quite a few of them, right? They were weak to uh, Earth, right? I think they were. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, sure, just destroy them instantly, it's all good. Lion Emma in a ridiculous spells. Not bad. Up we go. And we can always use that rest point to restore our mana this way. Our mana, our EP. One goodie, a curia bomb. It looks like this way is not the way I want to go first. Barrier seals the way. Doesn't look like we can pass through. We need to find some way to open it. Puzzle dungeon. You need a key to dispel a barrier like this. We should start looking. That's what I'm doing. I'm still going to press it just to see if it says any extra flavor text. And you just did, so that's cool. Nope, don't need to slash our door open. Alright, where to next? Down we go. Hello, Mr. Ghost Sword. And a chest right next to you as well. I don't wonder what the we monster the chest will involve here. That's quite a few enemies again. Yes, sir. One shot. Go. Okay. I mean, like, literally everything I do will nuke these guys to oblivion in that, right? But equally, if I just attack... Here. Lore has enough power to Hi. destroy. Yes, sir. Oh, you missed? Here we I go. guess you can't counter. And in terms of weaknesses, yeah. You have the perfect heart for this, don't you? Ha. Even with a low Thanks, ATS. Thanks. Let's keep moving. Alright, use this level to 46. We got a new material from fighting them. A matter of course. And he learns Treasure Sword. Attack set. Area M, seal 50%, freeze 50%, class A, seals frozen ice, then shatters it, and balance plus 20%. That's pretty good! It's a really good ability you just got. This castle has no shortage of strange foes. Perhaps they really are go. D don't say it! What'd you do? Just slam your hand over his mouth? <laughs> Take an EP charge for you. I'm guessing you've already got your EP back thanks to the courts of just walking around. <laughs> That's ridiculous how fast we regen that. Right, you armor guy. Stop chasing me. We have the advantage. My Ooh, turn. death blow coming up. No. No more chance. Here we go. I mean technically I could do a leaf. What, and just hit both of them most likely? Yeah. Well, let's just go a little bit longer so Laura can huh? get some nice stats yes, too. And another death blow coming up for her. Death blows galore at this point. 
I mean, technically, I even have grand breaths to get these guys. <laughs> Don't mess with us. Guys, you got Just a new ability started. coming? I hope all the monsters in here are going to give me all the beautiful stuff here. Give me all this lovely... Yeah, come on. Give me more U material. More, more, more. I need like a bank of U material. Oh, hello. Look, something over there. Seems to be some kind of pedestal. And there's some sort of orb thing on it. You think this is what we're looking for? Indeed. I suspect this orb will disable the barrier on the door to the castle's east wing. Chest! <laughs> it's probably a good idea to take with us. A yellow orb. Okay, now we should be able to access another area of the castle. But you know, there's something else here I'm curious about. Oh. Wow, that's one huge door. I've had my eye on it ever since we entered this room. So doesn't it look more than a little similar to the door on the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse? You're right. It looks a lot like the red door that giant armor was hidden behind. Ah, seldom visit the castle, so I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. There's always a possibility that the children might have gone inside. We should check it, just to be sure. It doesn't seem like it wants to open. It seems as steadfast as the wall around it, if not more so. That's true. I can't see any signs that the children might have gone inside either. We should probably move on and check somewhere else then. Makes you wonder though. How did a door like this come to be in Lohengrin Castle to begin with? Even the pads on it are like the ones on the door in the old schoolhouse. Odd as it might seem, maybe they are connected somehow. We did theorize that the old schoolhouse may be connected to Emperor Dreykel's in some way. Saint Sandlot was Dreykel's foremost ally and on close terms with him even before he became the Emperor. It's not implausible that there may be a connection there. Mm hmm. Well, whatever secrets this door may hold, it's a dead end right now. We should turn around and look elsewhere. Might I suggest the door we passed earlier, the one that was sealed shut with a barrier? We should be able to nullify the barrier now with this orb. Hmm, astute as always. Is it ticking? The other door ticked. Huh. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Really? A lunar robe was obtained. I'm only picking it up at that point in time. So this is an ATS plus one. A robe woven from hemp, once worn by a highly pious monk. Much better for you. Gives you some extra ATS on top of that. We'll take that. Apart from that, this blue tunic that's now become free. Do we put it on anyone else? That ADF down sucks. I mean, that would have been a good upgrade for the others as well, most likely. I like the stuff with spell defense as well as physical defense, thank you. But it just won't give me it, will it? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> nothing good, nothing good. Every single less craft is got now. Go away. Go away. Successful dodge. I've already killed you once. I'm going to be coming back and forth in this room. I don't want to be killing you multiple times. Unless your ass is presented to me, then I will stab it. Well, that should have disabled the barrier here. Hmm, what an unusual mechanism. This castle seems to have an abundant supply of unusual things. Say nothing of those ghostly fiends prowling around. G you, sis, don't say the G word! Well, at least we should be able to push farm into the castle now. There may be similar mechanisms elsewhere in the castle, so keep an eye out, everyone. No one's going to point out the fact that the kids couldn't have gone anywhere but these two rooms because of barriers, unless the barriers were, of course, set up afterwards. No one's slightly suspicious in the party? No? These ghosts seem to see me no matter what. Now's our chance! Let's smash them! Yes, sir! Well, I don't want to vanish them! There! Go! Thank you for helping me not smash them. Vanish them, even. That was useful. It's Every way you could possibly not be useful. We're back up above 100 right. CP for you. Hey. Laura yes, can one-shot everything. There. You Go. didn't manage to break that one this time. 
I guess they're just incredibly it's dodgy. My turn. Here. My turn. Huh. But Laura's got the accuracy. My turn. If you miss again. Here. Good. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance. Green actually got hit. I'm guessing they've got a higher evade rate. I mean, ghost be ghosts. I kind of expect as much. Fog doesn't increase evade rate, but things that exist of fog do. Oh, hello. You're different. <gasps> this is bad. We need to regroup. That just happened! Behold the might of the Arcade School! And it was a death blow on that turn. I had to take it. We should keep going. Ooh, I'm so glad I took that as fast as possible. I'm awesome. Oh, next turn death blow. So one party member would have died if I didn't just quickly pull that out of my butt. Turned around thinking, oh, it's not going to chase me. And then when it chased me, I went, oh, no, I'm going to do the fall away thing. But no, it's a four-legged fiend. It's got a little bit more speed to it. All right, 300 of each type of set fit again. We're going to have to build Laura's CP back up again on top of everything. So there's a pathway that way. Another suit of armor here. Well, that thing's walking. Tulling on down, are you? Higher elements making it worse and worse. Yes, sir. I mean, I want to cast an Impassion. I'm going to cast a All Motivate right, because that will give Laura 20 CP. Oh, it's only 10. Never mind. My turn. Huh? But increasing the attack My strength turn. there will help out. Yeah. I'm going to stagger that guy too, are you? My turn. Huh? Fine, Laura no. can get her own CP back, no worries. Uh -huh. Well then, let's keep moving. <laughs> I'll let you All take right, Emma 48 next. Another U material. I feel like I'm going stronger. And learns a new ability. Aster Flare can now be used. Magic attack, area large, burn 30%, confuse 30%, muddles an enemy's cognitive abilities with flame. Well, ah, ah, I'm on fire. Let's attack my mate. Is that how that works? Well, no barrier there. Which door do I take oh, first, then? treasure chest. Yes, it is. Fire bells in the chest, increasing my fire casting of spells. To the top one or to this one first? Ah. Oh, a treasure chest. Yes, we, we just saw one like two seconds ago. You're really good at this. You're really, really good at this. He likes treasure chests, he does this, man. I guess we haven't got Elliot to do it, so Eusis wants to take over. Come on then, monster! Here they come! Be careful! Oh, they're you! Here I go! We've got motorbike monsters! Which is weird enough as it is. Oh, we got more than motorbike monsters, actually. There's a group of four here. I think that should be the group done. Leave it to me. No, one motorbike monster lived. Death blow. Go. We didn't get one. Can't get that one on the edge. We're bursting through with ultimate speed. Okay. Now let's detect one. To find out what the death sluggers are. the enemy's fighters. Complete. A purgatorial tank that mows down sinners in its wake moves ceaselessly, firing its cannons with reckless abandon. Of course. Oh, we haven't got brilliant spin. All right, that one's fainted, so it's not going to move. That one's defense down. That one's balance down, but I don't think we're going to kill it. Which one's moving next? That one's moving first. So if I kill the wandering Hi. sword, I have next turn. Yes, sir. Now. 
Which means I should be able to clear up every remaining foe without too much of an issue. There. Of course. Huh. Jump you down. still have a lot of training to do. 2.2 total experience gain? Oh, give me that multiplier. In fact, Reen's force is about not far from going to level 5. Not a fair bit of stuff in Mirror, but what's our real world reward? Give us it. A cut, say, a master course. Ah. Right. And what does cut say? So we got Tauros that we haven't used either. Damage regular attacks raised. Delay after attack multiplied by two, though. Katza. Absorb magic attacks. 50% chance. Has Soul Blur and Demonic Scythe on it. Quite strong ATS type courts. I think we've got Mirage currently on you, which is a uh, way even stronger AP, uh, ATS kind of courts. That's kind of a an average courts for everything, is it? Absorb magic attacks sounds kind of cool. And that's just base. So that would probably go up to 100% chance. So that would make someone magic immune by the sound of it over time. Which would be kind of crazy. Alright, so we've got to remember there is another chest on the other side there. It's a standard chest by the look of it. Can't use the camera to look, but I'm pretty sure it's brown through the grate. Oh, get out of my way. They see me when I come up anyway. It doesn't feel like I can ever get behind them without doing the whole long run. Now's our chance. Let's smash them. Here I go. Now's our chance. You better get your smashing. That's what I'm kind of relying on here. Second form. Damn. Yeah. I love how we're begin like a supposed beginner in this yeah. school of everything, by the way. Of course. Huh. It's taught even like the second form. Here I go. He's gone! Well that's that. Let's get going. I gunned him! Do I get no experience for doing that? Obviously not. Uh oh. I made him gone. And he was never seen again. What what can you do to make a ghost ghostly? External corridor. We must be on the north side of the castle. We've gone pretty far inside now. I hope the children are safe. We super ghosted that ghost. Onwards. Oh, I've got to stop saying the G word. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> got it. Now what a weird construct these death motorbikes are. To be honest, it's not easy to stagger go. them. But again, Gale will Second hit all three. Gale. Delay, strength down, yeah. resist, yada yada, blind, yeah. seal on the one on the left My so turn. you can't do anything anymore. Ta. Let's not waste Laura's damage yeah. on the middle one then. It's my turn. You will kill that? Here. Oh, uh, here we go. A large miscalculation was made. Right. But I think Laura is going to be ah. right back in. Here I go. My turn. To a good CP ah. level once again. We'll cut our own path. Go on, Reen. I want to see Force evolve. I want to see you get even more CP per kill. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Let's not move past the treasure chest. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Judgment bolt. Sounds a uh, awe-inspiring new ability there. Oh yeah, we didn't even check out Cross Crusade. A cross-shaped hole bathes all in lonely light. Cross Crusade. Judgment Bolt. Brings down judgment upon foes with a lightning a seal 50% line attack. They don't have any stats on them though, so... Not incredibly interested in them. For the time being. I mean, hopefully we do get courts with some of them on anyway. There's multiple spell courts. Always great. Alright, well, up's got another seal. Oh, another barrier. Let's see if we can find the orb that dispels it. It's okay, I'm up. This all seems strangely normal to her. And she's not a very good actor either. Oh, another barrier. Yeah. <laughs> not a very good, like, astonishment going on there, Emma. That's the other side of that treasure chest place, maybe? Where is this? 
Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. <sighs> Nothing but trouble. At least it's not the snakey, Ify. We know that she successfully knows how to traverse a ladder. Stopped it at its end of the run. Whew. I had to kind of turn and fight him at that point, didn't I? My turn. How can I not attack two? Like, they're so close. Come on. Give me a break. Here we go. Ha! Down her. Okay. Right, they're weak to water, right? Uh, Looks to me. Turn. Get out the way, guys. You don't need to do nothing. Here I Stand very still and watch yes. this work. Emma. Oh, we should be safe now. Wiping the map. <laughs> I've only just begun. Just getting started. And now, guys, let's learn Savage Fang. Area medium, movement minus 50%, the enemy's delay plus 35, class has plus screws, foes for great force and balance plus 20%. <laughs> A matter of course. They're gaining so many abilities! They're all around that level again by the look of it. Alright, up we go. Let's grab our red orb. Hopefully there's no enemy waiting for us. Nope, not even gonna walk one in on us. You must not take my orb, because I'm a g g g g g Can't say it. Oh. Any <laughs> missed that. It's not the size of the ladder is not long enough. I cannot play snake yet. It's not the size of the man, this is how you use it, yeah. I mean, you could keep doing this. Now is it long enough? Now is it long enough? It's about how you elongate an experience. It's what you make of it yourself. Isn't that right? And which way have I been and which way haven't I been? Wait, I can't... Which way did I come through? I'm so confused. So I went through there. That way's back to the entrance. So I didn't go through here. Ah, that's the treasure chest. That's your bum. But no way to undo this to maybe make a shortcut back. I don't know. You're lost in this conversation. I actually haven't played Snake Eater myself, but just if you ever if you get the time, Snake Snake Eater Ladder, search on YouTube and you'll see exactly what we mean. I guess you'll have to search for the full sequence. It is snaky, right? <laughs> hey, those are... This isn't good. Julian! Go away, you monsters! The great knight Julian will never forgive you if you hurt Carno! Shout back now! Shout a dragon! That's your text. Uh, ah! Goddess, please help us! Stand back! Nice movement! But Laura? Thank goodness you're both safe! We're okay! More fiends. They don't seem pleased that we robbed them of their quarry. We could do this. Just don't let them near the children. B blow them away, Lammy! Pokedoes, let's get started! Yes, sir! Just a normal group of enemies once again. Are you weak to anything I can specifically do? What is my spells here? My options. I can set that as a target, at least. Might not do too much damage, really, when you think about it, but considering it's on a zero arts anyway, why not? Ha! They've all got their move cut. My turn. There's a death blow coming up as well, by the way. Ta okay. That moved the death blow onto the monster. It did. Here. But we don't have to worry about it. Oh, we should be safe now. Ah, oh, come on, Reen. So close. Oh, 
Alright. Looks like we took care of him. You're not hurt, are you? N no, we're okay. That was so cool! You guys are all so strong! Just like the eyes of from the old stories! Considering their predicament, they don't seem to be any worse for wear. <laughs> well, as long as they're both unharmed. Actually, I think both of you have something to say. Huh? Uh, um... Oh, oh, right! Thanks for saving us! That's not what I meant. You stole a boat and entered property that is off limits to you without telling anyone where you were going. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't come looking for you? Who would have saved you? Do you have any idea how worried your parents and everyone else in town are about you? I... Laura... I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. If you realize what you did wrong, I have nothing further to say on the matter. Oh. I admire your bravery, stepping forward to defend Karna like you did. But you're still young and inexperienced like I am. It's one thing to aspire to the qualities of a knight, but no good will come of rushing to that goal. Right, I'm sorry. How are you for coming for us, everyone? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hmm. Try to be a little less reckless in the future, would you? You sis, are you actually embarrassed you got thanked by a kid? Hush, you impudent brat. <laughs> well, we found them and they're safe. That's a huge relief. Now all that's left is finding a way out of this castle. Hmm, kind of think of it, we couldn't even enter this room until we disabled the barrier. So how did the two of you get inside? Um, when we first came in here, everything was normal. We were on our way to the top floor, but as soon as we came in here, suddenly there was this pale haze everywhere. Then these strange circles appeared on the door and we couldn't open it anymore. We didn't know what to do. So you ended up locked in. seem to be any other access to this room either. It seems as though if we want to leave, we'll have to deal with whatever's causing all of this. I'm sure there must be some way to disable that barrier on the front door. Hold on a moment. Emma? I can sense something coming from the top floor of the castle. A mysterious energy flowing out from there like a wellspring. What? You can sense something like that? Well, more or less, yes. It's about the only clue we have to go on right now, so we might as well go up and take a look around. Maybe it's me, but it almost feels like she's starting to be more forthcoming with her insights. What about the children? We can't just leave them here. Let's just take them with us then. There are enough of us that we'll be able to keep them safe. I'm not telling what kind of danger we'll run into, but it makes sense to bring them along so we can keep an eye on them. What do you two of you think? Would you prefer to stay with us? Of course! I feel safer with you guys. <laughs> Very well then. I'm fine. I suppose we'll take responsibility for your safety then. Alright, let's head to the top floor then. Let's have ourselves a look at the source of that mysterious energy Emma was talking about. Let's be on our way then. Alright, well, I didn't say it during this cutscene at the very least, but... Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. I know it is. Rakshasha. That's being gained. Rakshasha. What is that? Let's have a look, see. Attacks grass call speed minus 25% or movement minus 50%, 10% chance, strength plus 30. I mean, that's the one way he's getting the spells at the moment, isn't it? Who should I give that to? You have attack grass and nightmare enemies, but we've not seen that happen once yet. Rakshasa. Speed minus 50%, 25%. Isn't Rakshasa that but better? It is. Let's give you that for the time being then. Gaius can have it for now. I feel like that's a great fit for having it on Reem, to be perfectly honest. I don't want to move my impede. <laughs> Such good impede, man. And I want to keep one big spell. In case I get art thingy. 
technically, it really would be best to replace that. No joke. Or we'll replace one of these. I don't need undiscovered treasure chests shown on the mini-map all the time, do I? I can't put it there anyway, can I? So I'd have to move some stuff around, so... Can Biako go there with Suzaka or not? No, okay. We actually don't have the space to put it on him because we put so many other things on him. <laughs> That's quite amusing. Um... Damn, I guess we put that stuff back then. What did I take off? Oops. What was on here again? Biako, wasn't it? Sleep or blind. Ah, I really want it on you. Put Rakshasa back on here then. Good AoE arts. AoE spread is pretty good. I'll work it out in the future. This looks like... We've reached the uppermost floor. The bell tower is ahead. Yes, it is. The energy source is nearby. Almost there. In the meantime, because you were talking, I only got manhandled by a bike. Did I actually just miss the timing? Oh, I did. Yes, sir. Emma's getting a CP plus 100 coming up here. That's interesting. You made me miss my timing. How dare you. Get him, Lammy! Take him down, Lee! Right, right! There. That'll be most of the work My on the motorbikes. Let's get a Gale on the middle one. Second form, Gale! <laughs> okay, it's safe for now. It really is. Barely a hassle. Level 49 for me and 2 new material. Maybe ghosts are what give us it the most. Arriving barn there. I mean, nothing stopped me putting it on Laura, but... Oh, damn. But there's the attack freeze in there for that. I could put the impassion there instead, yeah. That would make way more sense on Laura. Because I can use it with her... With just her AoE art as it is. It's pretty good. So we could use it with that. Let's give her impassion there so she has the CP up. It's not necessarily that great anyway, but... And give her the Rakshasa. It lowers the strength a little bit. But the additionals are pretty damn decent. So I can't really hate on that, can I? What did I have on you originally then? No clue what I had on you anymore. I think it was that. Speed breaker, actually. Damn it! Then I don't use her AoE as often, but it looks like we've got a boss fight coming in our way here. Alright, considering we can upgrade at this point in time, it gives us a chance to customize a weapon, doesn't it? So at the moment, our squad is these three plus you, so let's get the Wild Claw upgraded so you've got your fake chance there. So that our front party all has great gear ready to go. A boss awaits ahead of us. All right. Let's get our save on. You never want to get that game over randomly, especially when the higher elements are in play. An AoE death blow, beautiful. So we got to remember as well that we got to basically, if a death blow comes up or something nasty like that, we've kind of just got to take it. Not just the criticals, we need the death blows too, just to make sure the enemy doesn't get the death blow. If it even appears. What is that? It looks like the orbs we've come across before. But it's far larger. I have an uneasy feeling about it. 
There's a cold, pale light flickering inside of it. Man, it's huge! It's kinda pretty. I definitely sense some kind of power coming from it. Is this the source of the energy you were sensing earlier, Emma? There's no doubt about it. I suspect this orb is the cause of all the strange things going on in this castle. If we can destroy it, I'm betting everything will return to normal. All right, just leave it to me! What? Oh, hold on, Milliam. Don't sweat it. Lammy's busted up tougher-looking stuff than this. Let's smash this orb and get out of this creepy castle already! You idiot, we have no idea what it might do. Go, go, Lemmy! <laughs> ah! Milliam! What did I just say? Are you alright? Oh, I forgot about those stupid barriers! I guess it makes sense that it would be protected by one of those barriers. Wait, something's wrong. Whoa! What's happening to it? I feel an incredible torrent of energy pouring out of it. Everyone, get back! Mortal King Nosferatu appears. What is that? A, a bone-faced fiend? A Nosferatu? How could it manifest something like that in the real world? It's on a completely different level than the foes we've encountered so far. Julian, Carno, get behind us! <gasps> There's no way we can afford to lose. Not here. Let's give it everything we've got! Right, 